Dave the MMP. I'm out in my backyard and uh, doing a little work on Renergy solar panels. So I picked up a couple of the bifacial solar panels. They're 115 watts each. And I want to see how they work in direct sunlight and whether I can get any backlight on these things or not. They've got solar cells on both sides of them. So I want to see how they respond. Uh, and also they claim that because of the way that the cells are built, if you have part of the panel blocked off by something, now I'm planning on putting these on my sailboat, so the mast might cast a shadow on the panel, uh, the boom might cast a shadow. Um, I'm planning on having them like right out in the open, so, and facing straight up. Now the reason I wanted bifacial panels is because a lot of light reflects off the water. If you've ever been on a boat and you're fishing or looking at the water, your face gets sunburned very quickly, and that's because of the reflection of the sun off the water. So that's what I'm hoping to achieve with these panels. Let's take okay, a look. So here's the 115 watt panel that I've got. And I noticed that it looks like it's got half cells. Uh, these wafer cells, there's a lot of them. And so I think what they did was they split up the cells in half I think they call them half cut wafers uh, to try and stop when you have part of the panel blocked. Now, I have this hooked up to my power box. It's got a lithium battery in it, about 100 amps. And uh, I just put my little MPP2 charger on there just so I could uh, charge it up with the panel. I've got it just sitting on the ground here. It's got direct sunlight straight up at the sun. And uh, I'm getting about 95 watts which is pretty good for a 115 panel. Um, I actually had to put a heat gun onto my uh, power box because it was charging the, the, uh, the battery up very quickly and then it started throttling back as it didn't need as much power. Um, I flipped the panel over so that I could see if I could get backside power. And I did. If I flipped the panel over, I got about 60 watts coming on the backside of the panel. Um, but as I tried to tip this panel up, uh, I put a white board behind it to try and reflect the light. Um, that didn't seem to work so good. So I'll have to see what this thing looks like when it's flat mounted on the boat and I get reflection off the water. Um, that'll be a further video. But other than that, I think this Renergy bifacial panel is thumbs All up. Right. So I flipped the panel over. Now you can see the cells that are on the back of the panel. So these should pick up light reflecting off the water when I have it mounted horizontal on the boat. Planning on putting it up uh, up above the push pin in the back of the boat. I've got a panel there right now. And the panel I think is a 90 watt panel, but it's not bifacial. And it's a different orientation. These panels are square. They're about 30 inches by 30 inches, which for me, I'm gonna have 60 inches of panels going straight across the back of the boat. So I think that's gonna be better than uh, the long narrow panel that I have there now uh, won't protrude into the cockpit as far as these ones do but so right now I'm getting about 57 or 60 watts off the back of this panel and I was getting about 95 off the front of the panel now when this thing's tipped over and it's just receiving some light from the back you know it might only get 10 or 15 watts I noticed when I blocked out one or two of these uh, little cells that are on this panel it dropped the output dramatically on the front i was getting 95 watts when i blocked off one or two of these cells it dropped down to about 20 or 30 and then it kind of recovered and went up to about 45 um and when i it it depended on which cell i blocked if i blocked the one in the middle it didn't seem to have a lot of uh effect when I block the ones in the corner, they seem to really have a big effect on the output. So I don't know, that maybe that depends on how you mount this thing. All right guys, that's it for me this week. I'll uh, give you an update once I get these panels mounted on the boat. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and stay safe.